four players, three rounds, two players race, one winner takes it all. Kia ora, for Chris Aho, and this is Brain Busters. Get ready for a series of escalating rounds where we test our players in maths, memory, tereo, spelling and more before it all leads up to this, the Brain Buster. Kia ora, ko Tyler Nathan Long toku ingawa. I'm excited to find out who will make it to the end. Chris, are you ready? Born ready, Tyler. And don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Oh my, hi to my, welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate Brain Buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet our players now. First up today, it is Jet. Talk to me about water polo, Jet. Ah, uh, yeah, so I train at least two times a week and I play a game on Thursdays and so that's for school and then I do club water polo on my trainings on Monday and Sunday at the moment. Excellent stuff and now Jet seems like you're being a little bit modest because you're not talking to me about a certain competition that you did recently. Uh, yeah in September I competed at under 16 water polo nationals in Auckland and we got a bronze medal at that which was pretty fun. Well, congratulations on that jet. Clearly, extremely competitive then. Hoping to go maybe one or two more places higher today? Yeah, hopefully. Well, good luck, Jet. Best of luck to you. We have Riley joining us on the show today as well. Riley, let's talk about what you're passionate about. Gymnastics is something that you do. Favorite part of gymnastics? Tumbling. What's the coolest tumbling trick you can do? A round off back tuck. Woo, impressive stuff. Hopefully you don't need to use that on the brain buster but I'm sure with those gymnastic skills that it's gonna come in handy a lot. Have to get there though first, good luck Riley. Kortugu joins us on the show. A b-ball superstar in the making is what I hear, Kortugu. Love your basketball. Yes. How often are you playing basketball, Kortugu? About three times, four times a day. Super passionate about it? Yeah. And then we're not doing that, I hear you're up there leading. The yes. team for Kapahaka. Yes. Let's talk a little bit more about your Kapahaka because you competed in the national school competition, right? Yeah. How did you guys go? Well, we came 21st out of 45 different couples and I came 11th out of 45 different Kaitata Kitanis. So, which is means, so you're the leader. I remember seeing bits of it as well. So, and I thought it was incredible court tickets. So, great stuff there. So, you shouldn't be too nervous about being here on this Brain Buster stage. You're feeling pretty confident? Yeah. I like it. Well, Cut off your good luck to you, my friends. And we also have Ari joining us on the show. And Ari, it seems like you do just about everything. <laughs> You've got a busy bee lifestyle. What kind of stuff do you get up to? Um, I like a little bit of football and inline hockey, which is hockey on rollerblades, um, or so sometimes hip hop and Aikido. Where do you find the time to do it all? <laughs> I don't know, for weeks. <laughs> you, you just make it work. Talk to me a little bit about Aikido. What is, so that, that's a type of martial arts, yes. right? So what kind of similarities and differences does it have to other things to, you know, say judo, for example? Well, unlike a lot of martial arts, it's about self-defense, not offense. So getting out of a, any sticky situation that you may be in. And not only is it um, enhancing the body and making and getting good physical skills, but also enhancing the mind and disciplining the mind. Absolutely. Uh, again, key skills that will help you a lot here on Brain Busters. So Ari, best of luck to you. Thank you. We have a great show lined up today, so let's get into it and take on Mega Memory. As always, 90 seconds on the clock for Mega Memory, 10 points for a correct answer, but if you buzz in and get it wrong, you're gonna lose 10 points. So the pressure is on right from the get-go, so let's get into it. Good luck, everybody. Your time starts now. Which organ pumps blood around the body? Ari. Heart. How many centimetres are there in a metre? Ari. A hundred. True or false, Ariana Grande is allergic to bananas. Ari. False. It's true. Which DC Comics villain wears a suit covered in question marks? Jet. Riddler. Correct. How many sides does an octagon have? Ari. Eight. 
Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Ari. Fruit. True or false, at room temperature, nitrogen is a gas. Ari. True. What is the official language of the Netherlands? Riley. Dutch. How many dots are there in a total on a pair of dice? Riley. Four. A pair of dice, it's 42. In the Lorax, the trees are cut down to make what? Jet. Needs. Correct. Which of these is a type of dry pet food? Kibble or wobble? Ari. Kibble. Which sport is New Zealander Kane Williamson best known for playing? Jet. Cricket. Who painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Ari. Michelangelo. You got it right. Evaporation occurs when a liquid becomes a what? Jet. Gas. If a YouTube video can be viewed by anyone, is it public, private or unlisted? Riley. Public. The... That is time. Nice work, everybody. Let's take a look at the scores after Mega Memory. Ari has the lead with 60 points. Jet is on 40 points. Riley has 10 points. And Kotuku is on 0 points. So now we move into our specialist subject round. And starting things off will be Kotuku. So what are you going to play, Oho? Reorangatira. Kia ora. Let's play Reorangatira. Kotuku, please step forward. Kotuku, mega memory. What happened? Mm, let's not talk about that. <laughs> You're just giving everyone like a little bit of a head start. Just yeah. felt like being the generous, that's the generous guy you are. Yeah. <laughs> Save it for your rangatira. Think you can get some good points in this special subject round? Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's get into it. Kotuku, best of luck. Here we go. First up, please spell haka. H A K A. A word I'm sure you're very familiar with as well. Are uh, iwi and hapu Māori kinship groupings or names of native birds? Kinship groupings. Ka whai e hoa. Whakamoa tōpōtai means what? Wear your hat. You got it. If someone said, e tu tamariki mā, who are they telling to stand up? Children to stand up. And finally, is kākāpō a type of fish or bird? Bird. Woo! That is putting the pressure on. That is our perfect score to start things off here for our specialist subject rounds. Well done. Happy with yourself? Yes. You did incredible. Well, congratulations, a great effort. Thank you for taking on the Oranga Tera. With that perfect score, Kotuku is now in first place with 100 points. And next up to take on their specialist subject round today will be Riley. So Riley, what have you chosen to play? Uh, Blueprinter. Thank you, Riley. Let's play Blueprinter. Riley, no mai, hare mai. Riley, have you got a good memory? I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, there's one way to find out, and it's by coming onto Brain Busters and playing Blueprinter. You have 30 seconds to take a look at what your Blueprinter is, then 30 more seconds to lock those answers in. Are you ready, Riley? Yes. Then best of luck to you. Here comes your Blueprinter. Far North Towns, your time starts now. Take a laid-back ride to the far north towns of Aotearoa, where every little spot has its own cool vibe. Check out Russell with its old-school charm, or Horeke where chill meets thrill. It's more than a road trip, it's hopping from one cosy corner to another, where every town has its own little tale to tell, and every tale is a new buddy waiting to say hi. Time. 30 seconds to put your answers in, which starts now. Halfway.
is time. All right, Riley. Well, you put them in nice and quick, and then you're just making sure everything was right. You didn't change anything. Had a bit of time to do so, but you didn't, so must be feeling pretty confident. Not really, actually. <laughs> are, we, are we confident about any of them? Um, Russell. Russell. Do you want to start with that, or do you want to end with Russell? Um, start with it. We'll start with Russell. Okay, let's start with Russell. You were confident, there you go, 20 points. Regardless of what happens, you got 20 points. Next up. Miti Miti, unfortunately, is incorrect. Tikal, unfortunately, also incorrect. Puriki is correct though, so there you go, another 20 points. And can we finish strong with Toi? Ah, Carl, not quite. So, a bit of a mixed bag, Riley, but still points on the board. That's what this game is all about. Well done. Thank you for playing Blueprinter. Riley moves up to third place with 50 points. And just like that, we're halfway through our specialist subject rounds. If I can A, Jet and Ari will take on their specialist subjects, but of course, all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. Remember your code at the Hippocampus, and you might just win Brain Busters. Today's Kai Takaro, better be ready. Next up to take on the Whittle today will be Jet. So Jet, what have you chosen to play, my friend? I'm playing Identifier. Kia ora, Jet. Let's play Identifier. Jet, no my hide my. Jet, what made you pick Identifier today? Uh, I like the science and the general knowledge behind it, and I like having all the answers so I can take my time and figure out which one I prefer. Totally, focus on each one, one at a time, hopefully walking back with a whole lot of points. So, good luck. Let's get into Identify. Identify three New Zealand birds which are critically endangered. Close one there, Jet. Needed the Chatham Island Black Robin. Intestines, lungs, femur. Arrange these body parts in order of location from head to toe. Like some points here. Had tricky ones to start. There you go, you've got it right. Nice work, Jet. Eliminate the three things which are not elements. <laughs> Incorrect, sorry, Jet. They are all, in fact, elements. Vibranium, Lithuanium, and Nobium are not elements, though. And finally, please identify three countries in Europe. That is correct, and that is how we want to finish things off for our specialist subject round, Jet. You had a tricky round. You had a really tricky round, but you've done well, so congratulations. Thank you for taking on Identifier. Jet is in second place with 80 points. And we have just one more player remaining to take on the specialist subject round today. That player is Ari. So Ari, what will it be to finish things off? Spellbinder. Thank you very much, Ari. Let's play Spellbinder. Ari, please step forward. All right, Ari. Well, you're going to be feeling pretty good right now. Your first place after Mega Memory got some good points. Do you think you can back it up now with Spellbinder? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> pretty good with spelling at school? Um, I like writing and spelling helps, so yeah, let's hope so. We'll find out right now. Ari, best of luck. First word coming your way. It is graphics. 
G R A F I C S. G R A P H I C S for graphics. Your next word is bisect. B I S E C T. Correct. Please spell pollution. P O L L U T I O N. That is right. Pterodactyl. P T E R O D A C T Y L. Is right. Nice work, Ari. <laughs> Tricky one, pterodactyl. All right. Final word. Oriental. O R E I E N T A L. That is correct, Ari. A little bit of a nervous start, but then you're like, "Don't worry about it, because I'm going to get the rest of them right." Really great effort there, Ari. Well done. Thank you for taking on Spellbinder. Thank you. Ari is back in front with 140 points. Kotugu has 100 points. Jet is on 80 points, and Riley has 50 points. So unfortunately, we need to eliminate our first player today on Brain Busters, and I'm sorry to say, Riley, it is you. But you take home a $50 bank account. What are you going to do with the money? Um, I'll save it, but probably spend it on some lollies. I like it. Always good to spend a little bit on the lollies. Favourite type of lolly? Big question, Riley. Sour ones. Good choice. Riley, thank you so much for playing Brain Busters today. Thank you. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. The Brain Buster will test our players' strength, stamina and memory. Let's find out who's playing on the course today. Kelda Tyler, and before we head to the Brain Buster, of course, we have the Brain Teaser. Now, all of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds, and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Those options are Sequencer and Equalizer. So, Jet, Kotuku, and Ari, please vote for which one you would like to play now. Kotuku having a big think. All right, our votes are locked in. We'll start with Jet, and it is Sequencer. Kotuku, after that big decision, has selected Sequencer as well. And Ari has picked Sequencer as well, making it three for three. So let's play Sequencer. 30 points if you can buzz in and get the correct sequence. Fail to do so, you're going to lose 30 points. So a lot to play for. Let's get into it. Good luck, everyone. Here is your first sequence for the Brain Teaser. Florida, Alaska, New York. Arrange these US states from northernmost to southernmost. Jet. Alaska, New York, Florida. Jet. Currently sitting in that elimination position. Really needs this one to be right. And it is. Well done, Jet. A good start for you. Next up. Six geese are laying. Two turtle doves. Partridge in pear tree. Arrange these animals as they first appear in the traditional Christmas song. Ari. Partridge and pear tree, two turtle doves, six geese are laying. Five golden rings. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Let's see if it's right. It is right. Ari extending that lead. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. What, what came over me? Next one, final one for the brain teaser. Hunt for the wilder people. Thor Ragnarok boy. In what order? Did these Taika Waititi films get released? Kotuku. Boy, Hunt for the Wild People, Thor Ragnarok. The pressure back onto Kotuku. This has to be correct. Kotuku looking staunch. Doesn't matter. He's like, I'm okay. If it's right, if it's wrong, I don't mind. You think you got it right, Kotuku? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Let's have a look. 
It is correct. Well done, Kotuku. And that completes a very solid round of the Brain Teaser. Well done to each of you. Let's take a look now at the final leaderboard. Ari has 170 points, Kotuku has 130 points, and Jet has 110 points. So a close, fierce battle, but unfortunately, Jet, you have been eliminated from Brain Busters, still taking home a $75 bank account. So what are you going to do with that money? I'm um, probably going to put it towards the next water polo tournament in Tauranga. Best of luck. What tournament's that, Jet? Uh, it's under 14 nationals. Well, from all the team here at Brain Busters, good luck to your team. Wishing you all the best, and thank you for playing today. And congratulations to Kotuku and Ari for them. It's on to the Brain Buster. It's time for our final two to take on the ultimate obstacle course. You ready, team? Let's go. Three, two, one, go! It's a sporting showdown here on the Brain Buses with Ari taking on Kotoku. There can only be one winner. Who's it gonna be? Both out of their harnesses and wow, what the sense down the neurotransmitter. Across the molecule was set with ease by both Kai Takaro. But can they remember those all important codes? Both using their double sided approach to the Corpus Colossum onto the hippocampus now. Can they remember their codes? Are they right? Boom! Down go both walls. Now a race on the trial to load. Who's getting to the top first? It looks like it's neck and neck as both players are now making their way through the web tunnel. Oh no, Kotoku's foot got caught in the web tunnel and so too did Ari's. But now they're both back on track and across the frontal lobe. Man, are they moving fast. This is one quick race today. Kotoku to the DNA ladder first and he gets the green light. Wow, that was quick. One more obstacle left the Basil Ganglia. And look at this, finishing in style. Congratulations, Kotoku. You're our Brain Buster champion. Good stuff, Ari. There we go. There's your green light. That's the one. Make your way to the last obstacle, the basal ganglia. One more over and under here for you. Man, that was some incredible racing today, team. <laughs> well done, guys. Nice work, Kotoku. Well done, Ari. Ari just doing a bit of celebratory smoke there. But Ari, let's chat to you first. Congratulations, second place today on Brain Busters. Firstly, what did you think of the Ultimate Obstacle course? Uh, it was very fun, yeah. Enjoyed it? Favourite part of the course? Uh, molecule steps maybe, I don't know. Fair enough. Well, hey, as I mentioned, second place today, Ari, so that does mean a $100 bank account to you. Thank you. What do you plan for that money? Um, I might save some of it, might spend some of it, I don't know. Well, you got a, a busy schedule, as we learned at the start of the show, so I'm sure you're going to be able to spread it across a couple of those things. Yep. Ari, it has been a pleasure to meet you, and thank you so much for playing Brain Busters today. Thank you so much. Kotoku, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you are a Brain Buster champion. Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? Good. Very, very good. I can see you're quite animated throughout the course. Kind of talk me through what you were thinking as you were going through it. Just get through it without getting hurt. And you achieved that? Yeah. Well, not only did you achieve that, but you got through in first place. So as I said, a brain buster champion, which means one thing you need to do is taking on Amygdala. Kotuku, no my haramaki Amygdala. Welcome to the final challenge of brain busters. A brain buster champion, and now we're at the last stage. Final thing to do is to win a whole bunch of money. Any ideas how much you're playing for? No, to be honest. $300. You get all of them right, it is all yours. How are the nerves right now? Very nerve wracking, <laughs> to be honest. But you've made it here, you've done well so far, just keep it up and you could win some serious money today. So, Kotuku, I wish you the very best of luck. It's time to play Amygdala. Willy Wonka first appeared in which Roald Dahl book? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Correct. Motuhara in the Chatham Islands is the easternmost point of which country with a kiwi as its national bird? New Zealand. Yeah! Uh -huh. It's New Zealand! <laughs> wow. It is a mighty Aotearoa. Which branch of the armed forces deals with the sea? Army, Navy, or Air Force? Navy. It is the Navy. 
What Pokemon game released on mobile utilizes the player's GPS location? Pokemon Go. Correct. True or false, the American black bear comes in more colors than any other North American mammal? False. Final answer? Yes. False, locked in. But unfortunately, it is actually true. Yeah, despite the name, it comes in many different colors. Perfect. Absolutely, there you go. All right, next question. In chess, what term is used when a player has no legal moves left, but their king is not in check? Tiebreaker, man. Tie, maybe. Your call, Kotaku. Or do you want to lock in? No, I want to lock in forfeit now. Forfeit? Final answer? Yeah. Locked in? Yes. But it's incorrect. A monorail runs on how many rails? One tra one rail? Yeah, I'm gonna say one. Final answer? Yeah. One, locked in. Don't oh, hey. <laughs> It's one. Yep, mono meaning one. What is the eighth month of the year? Can I use my fingers? Absolutely. You can do whatever you need to do. January, yep. February, uh -huh. March, April, uh -huh. May, June, July, August. August. Final answer? Yes. I'm locking August then. August is locked in. And August is indeed the eighth month of the year. What colour are a poor Hutukawa tree's flowers? Yellow? Nah, red. Fiddle? Yeah. How sure are you? Not for 100%, but I think it's fiddle. You want to lock it in then? Yeah. Is it red? It is red. Fiddle is correct. Nice work. Final question. Did Enrico Fermi come up with quantum theory, quinoa theory, or dum-dum theory? <laughs> quantum theory and what are the other two? Quantum theory, quinoa theory, or dum-dum theory? <laughs> I'm gonna say quantum theory. Not dum-dum theory? <laughs> no. Not quinoa no. theory? Quantum theory. Yeah. Final answer. Yes. Quantum theory, locked in. And to finish off from Exodo, you're absolutely correct. Taking a look at the board, Kotuku, and you're going home with $240. Doing the money dance there, I like it. What are you going to do with the money, Kotuku? I'm probably going to save it up or go to Hallenstein and spend it on more clothes. Because it is my birthday tomorrow. Well, hey, look at that. Happy birthday. Here is your birthday present from the team at Brain Busters. All that money is yours, Kotuku. It has been great having you here on the show, my friends. Kelda for coming on, and a massive congratulations again. You're taking home $240. Could you conquer the ultimate obstacle course? Head online and let us know. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.